Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking about the Nordstrom sale. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about products that I do not recommend. Yeah, things I don't recommend. So we're going to get right into it. I'm also going to talk about the dates, how it's working. It's, it's a little bit different this year. In Wednesday's video, I'm going to be sharing the best deals on in, in the Nordstrom sale as far as makeup, skincare, fashion. And then on Friday, I'm going to share what I'm planning on purchasing at the sale. And when I say plan on, we're going to talk about that on Friday and what that means. If you are new here, we'd love to have you join. I share makeup, skincare, fashion for us mature ladies. If that's something that interests you, please click that button below. Hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you click that notification bell. I don't want you to miss out on any of my content. Make sure you check that notification bell because YouTube will switch it up on you and they will only share videos they think you want to watch. Well, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to show up here as I'm going along to the products that I'm talking about because these are things that I've reviewed in the past. You may be new here. You may have missed me talking about it. And that's where I'm going to get it. I'm going to talk about First, before I do, let me just talk about the dates here because like I said, it's a little, it's a little different this year because you can actually view the products yourself online. So I will leave the link. I will leave all the information that I'm sharing right now in the description below, along with everything that I'm wearing, like I always do, except for the shirt, my little cute Mickey shirt, not available anymore. <laughs> I got this at the park. So the sale starts on August 4th and it runs until the 30th, but not everybody can shop on the 4th. So the Nordy Club icon people can shop early access from the 4th to the 18th, which is not me. You're spending a lot of money doing that and I don't do that. The Nordy Club ambassadors get to access on the August 7th to the 18th. So you have to check what your status is. And this is for if you have a credit card with Nordstrom, which I do. Now I am a Nordy influencer because I don't spend as much money and I am going to be able to shop from the 10th to the 18th. The Nordy Club Insider gets to shop from August 13th to the 18th and then everybody gets a shop on the 19th to the 30th. Nordstrom is one of my favorite stores. This is not sponsored. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that's where I purchase most of my stuff. This is the only sale I talk about. This is the only one I talk about. I don't talk about the Sephora sale. I don't talk about the Ulta sale. This is the only sale I talk about all year round. This is the only one I get excited about. I shop at Ulta. I just don't really get into the, the sale. I don't always get excited. It depends on what they have and I just usually it's not there's not enough for me to get excited about. So I just don't I just don't share videos on it. And Sephora, I just don't shop there much. So that's it on that. Today I am gonna go over things that I do not recommend. These are things that I've actually tried myself. Whenever I talk about anything on my channel, product, whatever it is, I've actually used it myself. It's really a disservice, I think, to share a product that you haven't tried and give a review on it because you don't know what that product is going to do for your skin unless you use it, okay? So I just want you guys to know that whenever I share stuff on my channel, I've actually used it. I'm not talking out of my ass, okay? I am also want to talk about some things that are on sale that I wouldn't recommend just because I think that you can get a better value. We're, we're gonna get into all of that. Let's get this one over with first, okay, shall we? So. A couple of years ago, or several years ago, a couple of years ago, I reviewed the new face. You are gonna hear about the new face because it's on sale at the Nordstrom sale. And I tested that out and it didn't go well for me. So I shared a review on it. I will, I will link it up here. I tested it out. I can't remember how long I tested it out. I don't know if it was four or five days. I can't remember. I had to stop using it for several reasons. One, I didn't see anything. Now I purchased this at Nordstrom, so I didn't get a fake one. Some people thought I got a fake one. No, I did not get a fake one. I got a real one. But I was told that I not only got the face one, I got the one for your for your eyes. It's supposed to help lift your eyes. So 
I stopped using it. I didn't see anything at all. I was told that I would see results right away. I know the longer you use it, you're supposed to see more results. We're gonna talk about that in a second. But I didn't see any results. And on top of that, I got a migraine, I had heart palpitations, and I had a metallic taste in my mouth. And that was my angel saying, you know what? No, stop using it. So I did. I stopped using it and I sent it back. So the good thing about Nordstrom is they take returns back or take returns. So if there's something that doesn't work out, you can return it. I returned it, got my money back. I don't think you can do that if you purchase it from um, the company. But I'm just telling you, I saw nothing. And I'm gonna be honest with you, anybody that's ever shared it, I've never seen any results that I think, oh my gosh, especially if that person doesn't have Botox, if that person doesn't have, um, usually the people that I've seen share it either had Botox or had fillers or had some kind of treatments to their face. So I've never seen anybody use that that I think, oh my gosh, they look amazing. But I was still curious, so I tried it. And I also have a couple of friends that use it and didn't have results. Now I know some of you guys may use it and you've had results and that's awesome, yay for you. But I'm just sharing my experience because I actually used it and I didn't see, I saw nothing and then I had side effects, so I stopped using it. And when you see that video that I shared, there were other people that had the same issues with it and I've read reviews since I did it because I was like is it just me that this happened to is there anybody else no it's happened to other people that have had the same side effects so use caution if you decide to do it that's all I'm going to say but I did actually use it I'm not just saying that I used it a Tom Ford palette okay so I bought a Tom Ford palette a couple of years ago at the sale love it last year I bought it I hated it so I haven't used a lot of Tom Ford palettes but I feel like because of the couple that I've used, I feel like there's some inconsistency in it and I don't think it's a great deal. So I guess if you really, really love the palette, go for it. I'm not going to, I don't, the colors aren't calling out to me. The lipstick that you get are just little mini lipsticks. So you're not getting a special deal. Sometimes they will do, and I don't know if this is the same, if they're doing these special colors just for the sale. That's what they did with the Iris, I think it was called Iris, bronze I think that's what it was called that I purchased a couple years ago and I still love it but I'm just saying think about that purchase before you get it are those colors you're really gonna like are the lipsticks some that you're gonna really like and like I said they're a little itty bitty mini I'm not really a fan on the um Tom Ford lipsticks I've gotten samples of them and they're beautiful but they don't last on my lips I feel like I have to keep re reapplying them so it's just I just think they're overpriced and overhyped in my opinion. So just wanted to share that. I am not going to be purchasing it. I don't really recommend it. Okay, so there's a couple sets that I saw, maybe more than this. I know Replica has a travel spray set, which is the Mason Margi Margiela, and then Creed, which I have not used that perfume, but there's a point to this. Uh, it has sample size, that's what I call it, sample size perfume set. Here's the thing. You can purchase a little travel size perfume sprayer. I bought one a couple years ago and I cannot find it, but I have it somewhere because we, when I travel, it's probably with my travel stuff, but I will put a photo up here and I will put a link where you can purchase it. But what's so nice is this is what I'm saying. Don't get the travel size. If you want to get a perfume on sale and there's either one that you wanted to try or, and look at the price too, look and see how much you're saving. So. If it's one that you wanted to try, or if it's um, one that you're repurchasing, whatever, get the get the full size, honey. If you want to get the tra the travel size ones, then just go ahead and get that little travel size sprayer. You can put your spray in there, your perfume spray, spray, spray it in there. It's not a big deal to do because I've done it, and then it's airtight, and you can travel with it. It's, it's seriously, it's awesome because you don't have to worry about your bottle breaking and, and all that. It's really, really nice. And then you save money instead of buying all those little perfume sets. I don't get the point of that. I think, I feel like Joe Malone has that too. And again, they're like little bottles. I just, if you're thinking about trying one, just order it. If you have access to go to a store, see what they smell like first, spray it on you before you get it. That's just my... It's my voice of reason for you. I'm trying to help you, okay? We can all get a little too excited about these sales and go crazy. The T3 dryer. So I bought that dryer. It looks different than mine, but I bought one a couple of years ago and I fell into the hype. Yes, it's a nice dryer, but it's not like 
like, oh, it's the best dryer I've ever had. No, it isn't. It's actually kind of heavy for me. Um, I don't think it dries my hair any better. I don't think it makes my hair any better. I don't think it's that amazing of a hair dryer. I think there's just a lot of hype about it and you probably will hear hype about it. So I think there's other hair dryers that are more affordable. Um, Target has hair dryers and I bought hair dryers from them before. You can go to Ulta when they have their sales at Ulta. You could probably get a better deal. I, being a hairstylist, I'm not working right now as a stylist, but it's just, I don't think it's that great of a hair dryer. That's all I'm saying. I think there's better ones out there. So that's just my opinion. The Mario Badusco, am I saying that right? Skincare. I have used a lot of his skincare products because I've had little travel size stuff that I've tested out over the years I've shared it. I don't know if I've ever shared it on my channel before, but I've tested it out. I don't like any of it. I just don't. I feel like it's just a brand that's overhyped and I've just never been like, wow, it's so great. I just feel like if you're gonna get that, just get drugstore skincare. I just don't think it's anything amazing. So I, I wouldn't recommend it. Like I said, I've tried a lot of the skincare products from that brand and I just haven't been wowed. The, okay, so here's a couple things that are in sets. So Charlotte Tilbury has a couple sets this year and they have the Magic Cream, but then they have her serum that just came out and then there's another, I don't know if it's a primer or something. Well, here's the thing I wanna say about sets. It's kind of the same thing with the Tom Ford. Like you're not gonna get a better deal unless you want all that stuff. So don't get it cause you're like, oh, Annie's been talking about the Magic Cream. So I wanna get that and then I get those two things free. Unless you were planning on getting those other products, like paying for them, figure it all out, see if it's really worth it. Otherwise I would just pass on it. Um, I've gotten wrapped up in that before where I get something, but then I'm like, I don't know if I really am gonna like it, but I'm like, okay. But then I'm like, I'm not really getting a good deal. You know what I mean? So before you make that purchase, think about if you really want those other free items, cause you're actually paying for them. Figure out if you really wanted to get those in the first place, otherwise just pass it. I think this year the Clinique, you know, the, the Moisture Surge, they have that and they have some other products with it. Um, think about that. Do you really want to use those other products or is it going to be worth your money? Okay, Exfoliate. I've used Exfoliate a couple years ago and I really did enjoy using it, but damn girl, it's expensive for an exfoliator. I believe it has salicylic and lactic acid in it. It's been a while. I know it has two acids in it. Basically what it is, it's a scrub that you gently scrub on your face. You let it sit there for I think 10 minutes and you rinse it off. It's nice, but not $128. I think it's $100. Oh, let me get my magnifying glass. What? It's $120. I don't think it's worth $120. Um, I really don't. So, yeah, I just, I just would not recommend it. I bought a little one. I enjoyed using it, but I never repurchased it because the price just always got me. I just feel like there's other products that that work just as good and just aren't as expensive. Just in my opinion. Let's talk about a couple other things that are not makeup and skincare related. There are so many things I could have gone over, but this would be even longer video. So the AG jeans. I bought a pair of AG jeans several years ago and they were not distressed. I wanted a pair of jeans that were not distressed, but had like that bleached kind of a look, but not, no holes is what I mean, distressed. Dang, they got holes like really quickly, like in my knees and I wasn't crawling around on my knees. So I don't even know what that was all about. So I don't think it's worth the money to spend that much on jeans. I bought some jeans last year at the sale. I'm probably gonna repurchase the next, those again. We're gonna be talking about that probably in my next video and for sure on Friday, we're gonna be talking about that brand. But the AG brand, I just think it's overpriced. I really do. And you can look for, those will go on sale too. There'll be other times you might be able to get them a lot less expensive than this because I still think they're expensive. There's better deals and really, really nice jeans and we're gonna talk about that. Any wire framed sunglasses I think are not worth the money even on sale. So, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I just would not recommend spending the money. I don't think it's worth it even on sale to get those. That's just my opinion. I think you're better off going to Target or 
I don't shop at Walmart, but wherever to go and get your wireframe glasses. And you know, it might not say Tom Ford on it or whatever, but you can get nice glasses. I don't think it's worth spending the extra money on wireframes, in my opinion. Now, if it's just a frame, like a wire on the side, and then you have the nice frame there, that's different. But when they're all wireframed, I just don't think it's worth the money, in my opinion. So that is it you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up would really appreciate if you would share it you can follow me on instagram i'm also on tiktok now i haven't done a lot of videos i'm going to try to get active on there it's hard to be active everywhere i'm trying to be more active on instagram as well and i will catch you guys all in my next video bye i <laughs> that interested if that in something that interested you is it a something that 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 interested you if it interested you then the make a shot you are hit that button below okay let's do it again i don't even know what accent that was hey it's annie and welcome back to my channel in oh my god are you kidding me let's do that again okay